Okay, so this is part two of a video that was supposed to have two parts but was filmed on one day, but instead this is going to be a two-part video filmed over two days, and I'm going to give you part two before part one. As an experiment, I guess. So what happened, you may be asking? Well, I filmed part of this video yesterday before I did my live stream, and I was going to film the rest later, but that didn't happen. The live stream lasted a little bit longer, and I was just absolutely beat, tired. I needed a break from, like, brain activity. So part one of this video is an unboxing of sorts for something that I ordered and got yesterday, and it's really exciting, and it's developer-related, so make sure you stick around for that part, which comes after this part, part two, and oh, I'm confused. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is motivation when it comes to learning programming, specifically on your own, and a tactic that I learned way back in the day that had nothing to do with development that's totally applicable to now and learning development. So I've talked a lot on this channel about my decision to go to a coding bootcamp, and the biggest reason why I decided to go that route instead of being self-taught completely was mostly the fact that the bootcamp provided accountability. But the bootcamp also did something else that was really, really important. See, I went to a full time boot camp, so I was there every day and I was coding a lot, like 10, 12 hours a day, every single day. And that is the important factor here, not the 10 to 12 hours, but the everyday part of it. And if you guys know anything about my story, before I got into development, I did a lot of writing and I'd write screenplays and it was really cool and I'd have all this motivation to start them really early on. And then sometimes I'd lose that motivation. And one of the biggest factors for losing that motivation was gaps and working on them. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that the best way to stay motivated, the best way to get things done, the best way to actually succeed in your journey through learning web development is to keep it fresh on your mind always. So how exactly do you do that? Well, my suggestion would be make sure you're working on something developer related for some amount of time every single day. If you only have 15 minutes to spare, then do 15 minutes. And if you have an hour, then you have an hour. And if you have eight, that's even better. But make sure every day that you wake up, you are doing something related to development. It keeps things fresh in your mind. A good example of this is I'm one of those people that keeps 50 tabs open on my computer at all points always. And what happens is I'll see something, I'll open up a tab and I'll say, I'll get back to it later. And then it sits there for a day and then two days and then three days. And then a week goes by and it's the third tab out of 50 in my big tab Chrome thing that's going to crash even the best computer. And I never actually get to it. Once you start justifying skipping out on your learning, whether that's for a day or a week or a month, then it becomes easier to do that again and again and again to the point where it's three weeks down the road and you forget gotten everything that you've learned over the past month or two. It's just like working out and going to the gym. It's a trap that I fall into a lot. I'll be really motivated to go to the gym. I'll go every day for a week or two, and then I'll take a day off because I don't know, I'm not feeling it that day or whatever. And then I'll take two days off and three days off and three weeks go by and I've lost all of the progress that I'd made at the gym. The same thing is true when it comes to learning and development. The same thing is true when it comes to writing and like most things in this world, you have to constantly like flex that logic muscle in your brain to keep that stuff fresh, especially when you're first starting out. And I get it. I totally get it. Burnout is a real thing. It definitely happens. But once we start making excuses, it just becomes easier to keep making those excuses. So be very, very careful and don't fall down that slippery slope of where one day turns into three days, turns into two weeks, turns into a month, turns into a year, and you look back and go, I could have had a job by now. And if you are getting burnt out, if you're working on a personal project and you're burnt out on that project, or if you're working on a course through Udemy or Treehouse or wherever it is you like to learn and you're getting burnt out on that thing, don't just stop maybe swerve to a different thing. So if you're working on a personal project, maybe take a look back at a course you were on. Or if you're on a course, maybe look at doing a personal project. Or if you don't wanna do either of those things, try out coding challenges or something like that. Just make sure your brain is thinking about code and you're thinking about your goals and your aspirations every day. And that way your brain is more likely to reward you when you get through those hard days and then you come back to it and you're really, really, really far ahead of the curve. And honestly, my best tactic when it comes to 
to getting over the hump when it really doesn't feel like I wanna do something, I just don't wanna look at code today, the best strategy that I have is to set up a reward structure and deadlines. I'll make deals with myself. I'll go into my brain and talk to myself and say, all right, you have 30 minutes right now. We're starting at 1.30 and we're going until two. And at two o'clock, I can do the thing that I was gonna do to put off the development stuff and I can do it for the rest of the night or however long it is. And setting deadlines, setting a deadline to finish that course that you bought or setting a deadline to get this particular feature of the project done, those deadlines are there to hold yourself accountable to make sure that you're working towards it. And they can lead to some procrastination if you set deadlines too far off. So what I would suggest is set a lot of short-term deadlines instead of big ones. You've got a big personal project you wanna finish in six months, that's awesome. Break that project down into very small bits and pieces and then take those bits and pieces and say, I wanna finish this today, I wanna finish this tomorrow, I wanna finish this over the weekend and I wanna have all of this done in a week and keep building those blocks up until you get to the full six months and that way you're actually needing to check in and review your work every so often as opposed to setting a goal six months from now and then five months from now looking at the goal and being like I only have a month to do this I'm never getting it done so Nah. And at this point, I would love to hear from you guys. How do you guys get over burnout? How do you stay motivated to learn to code or to build the project that you're building on on the side? Anything like that, let me know down in the comments. And now, the long-awaited part one of this video. So today I wanna to give you guys a pointer on learning code and really just about accomplishing anything in life. But first, I got a really important email yesterday about a shipment that I got in today. Actually, I got it yesterday, but I didn't check the mail yesterday. And I don't think I checked my email when I got that shipping notification. Anyways, I'm gonna run to the mailbox and grab it and share it with you guys because I think it's something you will enjoy but it's wet and cold not cold but wet outside and my camera's not water sealed so I need to do this alone let's go junk mail and two packages I was really only expecting one. Oh god the lights bad why did I get two? So they both feel like the right package and I thought they might be from the same place but they're from different shipping addresses. Investigation time. I realize what that is. I know what that, I wasn't expecting that today. Ah, that's even more exciting but I can't show you that. I, I can't show you that. So are you ready to see? Well, one second. Whoop. Code and coffee shirt? What is this? It's just me. If you know two things about me, it's that one, I love coffee, and two, I love code. This is a shirt with code and coffee. Also a sticker. No. Okay, so first things first, I wasn't paid to wear this shirt or promote this brand. I bought this shirt with my own money and it came in today. But they have shown love to the channel, they've come out to live streams, they've shouted me out on Instagram, and they seem to be a bunch of really cool people. So I thought, hey, I'll support them too and grab a shirt. And I wanted to share it with you guys because like, they're swaggy, check it out. Anyways, if you want to check them out, if you want to check out these shirts, if you want anything like that, the Coder store, that's not great. Yeah, it's thecoder.store on Instagram or www.thecoder.store. The www is important there. Go check them out, buy a shirt if you like them. They have other styles and a bunch of other colors and Leo's tail is literally just blocking my face. Probably an improvement. And back to my other shirt now because I have a thing about wearing shirts before I wash them. But as far as the quality of the shirt goes, it's really good. They're definitely long enough, which is one thing that I struggle with when I'm sizing t-shirts. See, I'm a large or a medium mostly a medium at most places, but sometimes if I buy a medium, it comes up a little bit short on me. Uh, for context, I'm 5'11 and like 175 pounds now. Okay, so now we're like five minutes away from me starting my live stream, so I'm going to go do that. If you don't, come hang out on Wednesdays at five o'clock Eastern time in my live streams. And if you can't make it, feel free to check them out afterwards. And also be on the lookout for other live streams that I do randomly when, I don't know, things get weird and I get bored. Anyways, I'll be right back after. Anyways, I'll be back right after and talk to you guys about code and learning it and staying motivated mostly.